Health and safety operation programs provide a lot of information that many workers feel is common sense. But as a safety professional, you shouldn't assume what a new employee does or doesn't know. Orientation training provides extra assistance and continuing education during the first few days, weeks, and months of an employee's tenure. And there is big reason as to why it's so important. OSHA reports that 40% of workplace injuries occur to those who have been on the job less than a year. One in eight workplace injuries occur on the employee's first day, and new hires are five times as likely to be injured on the job as experienced ones. Every health and safety orientation plan is unique because it needs to reflect your industry, organization, facility, and roles. However, today we will discuss the seven topics that should be included in every employee orientation. Number 1. Employee Rights it is important to discuss that occupational safety and health regulations grant workers rights. A few examples include the right to work in a place free of known hazards, receive health and safety training in a language they understand, file complaints with OSHA, and report injuries or illnesses and receive copies of their medical records. Number 2. Company Safety Rules a successful safety program is built on the foundation of engagement. Worker engagement starts on day zero of their employment. You'll use the orientation program to run through your company's safety program rules and policies. Number 3. Basic Health and Safety there are a few basic health and safety programs that every employer benefits from reiterating at the start of employment. These include material handling, safe operation of equipment, housekeeping, hazard communication and safety data sheets, and location of fire extinguishers. Number 4. Emergency Preparedness and Response being prepared for an emergency is vital to employee safety. Orientation should discuss topics like workstation and facility emergency action plans, emergency evacuation routes, location of fire exits, emergency eye washes, and other emergency equipment, and contact details for emergency services. Number 5. Personal Protective Equipment Run through your PPE program and provide adequate training and fitting for any equipment the employee needs for their new role. Make sure you discuss how and when to wear PPE, proper equipment care and management, and where to report damaged or missing PPE. Number 6. Injury and Illness Reporting as we discussed in number one, employees have the right to report injuries and illnesses. When does an employee need to report an injury or illness, and how do they do it? Run through the process in this portion of your training. Number seven, contact information. Finally, it is important to brief every new hire on the correct modes of contact and contact information for their employer, health and safety team or committee, and local authorities, including poison control. You'll also use this block to collect emergency contact information for the employee and send copies to the emergency coordinator and or human resources. Safety orientation for new employees is often required for compliance, but it's also your company's opportunity to build stronger working relationships from day zero. You never know what knowledge your new workers bring with them, and your organization has unique processes and procedures to share. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel for the latest safety and environmental news, tips, and tricks.